Sometimes people want things that they turn out to be ill-fitted for, but other times people are found by what they are best suited for. The latter was the case of Christina Hall, who transitioned from the dream of having a career in sports to running a full-time career in real estate and television. From her early days flipping houses with her ex-husband to becoming a solo HGTV star, Christina's journey is filled with ambition, personal challenges, and a whole lot of stunning transformations. So, grab your favorite snack, settle in, and let's get started. In the beginning, Christina's life was drama-free and was pretty much straightforward. She lived a regular life like any other kid while going through her education. But later on in life, things became a whole lot more interesting for her, which wasn't so pleasant at some points. We will go into details later in this video. Christina Mearsinge Hall was born in Anaheim, California on the 9th of July, 1983. Details about her early life are relatively private, but we do know she developed a strong work ethic from a young age. Her family name was Hack, and she enjoyed tagging along with her parents when they went to check out houses. She attended Canyon High School in Anaheim and immediately moved to San Diego State University after graduating from high school. While she was there, she developed an interest in real estate and got herself a license. Just like that, she pursued a career in real estate, drawn to the world of buying, selling, and renovating properties. This decision would be the foundation for her future success. The insane thing about everything that happened was that she never originally wanted to take that career path. In an interview in 2020, she admitted that she was looking at having a career in sports, particularly being an agent. She also admitted that being on television was never something she dreamed of, but had to adjust once things started to play out. In early 2000s, Christina's real estate career took a pivotal turn. When she started, she first took up a job with Prudential as an agent, and it was during her time there that she met Tarek El Moussa, another passionate real estate investor, and the two formed a successful partnership. Their combined expertise in flipping houses proved to be a winning formula. While Tarek was focused on the construction aspect, Christina was more drawn to design. The partnership later went beyond just a workplace thing, and the two soon started dating around 2006 and got married in 2009. Together, they were able to start their own real estate agency, Tarek and Christina, the El Musa Group, which was a success at the time, allowing the couple to have a really comfortable life. But when the 2008 recession hit, things started to look ugly for their business. They weren't just able to carry on and even had to make some adjustments in their personal lives to enable them survive the period. However, things started to look great again around 2010, when they were able to start buying and selling houses again. With the help of their third wheel, Pete DeBest, they were able to buy a house in Santa Ana, which they sold for a $34,000 profit. This was a good push for them to start again. As their career boomed, they started documenting their journey and were active on their social media handles. Tarek started making moves to secure a spot on HGTV, and he had the videos from their previous works to show what they were capable of. While waiting, they still carried on with their jobs while gathering followers on their social handles. Their success didn't go unnoticed for long. In 2012, they were able to get the attention of Pytown Productions, which produced for HGTV, and they signed a deal for a new reality show called Flip or Flop. The show released its first episode in 2013 and became a hit. The show would document their process of buying distressed properties, renovating them with Christina's design flair, and selling them for a profit. Flip or Flop continued to grow with each episode. Viewers were hooked on the couple's dynamic on screen, the dramatic property reveals, and of course the stunning transformations. Christina's design skills shone through, inspiring viewers to tackle their own renovation projects. Flip or Flop was the show that launched Christina and Tarek El Moussa into HGTV stardom. The show wasn't just about buying, renovating, and selling houses. It was a window into the world of real estate flipping, showcasing the couple's dynamic and the dramatic transformations. 
Viewers got a first-hand feel of the risks involved in real estate. There was an ever-present question, would they flip the property for a profit, or would they flop and take a loss? The show's magic stemmed from Tarek and Christina's contrasting yet complementary personalities. Tarek, the construction and negotiation expert, brought a no-nonsense direct approach. Christina, with her design vision and a keen eye for detail, balanced it with creativity and a touch of flair. Their on-screen banter and friendly competition kept viewers engaged, while their teamwork showcased the importance of a strong partnership in the house-flipping business. Each episode followed a distinct formula. We'd see Tarek and Christina scouring the market for undervalued properties, often facing fierce bidding wars. The suspense built as they inspected potential fixer-uppers, revealing hidden problems and weighing renovation costs. Back at the drawing board, Christina would present her design ideas, sparking playful debates with Tarek about budgets and feasibility. They both just seemed like the ideal power couple, ready to take on life and whatever it throws at them. The renovation process was a roller coaster ride. Some days brought dramatic reveals of structural issues and unforeseen challenges. Tarek, with his construction crew, tackled the heavy lifting like plumbing, electrical work, and major structural changes. Meanwhile, Christina focused on selecting materials, finishes, and furniture that would enhance the property's value and appeal to potential buyers. Budget constraints often led to creative solutions and DIY projects, showcasing Christina's resourcefulness. The final stretch involved staging the transformed property to create a move-in ready illusion. Open houses saw potential buyers tour the space, with Christina highlighting the design choices and functionality. The suspense peaked as Tarek negotiated offers, aiming to recoup their investment and turn a profit. Finally, the big reveal where viewers get to learn if they flip the house for a win, or did they flop and face a financial loss. The show was the ideal reality show, and didn't shy away from showcasing both successes and setbacks, offering a realistic perspective on the world of house flipping. Flip or Flop's legacy has been found to have many fronts. It popularized the concept of house flipping, inspiring countless viewers to consider a career in real estate renovation. Christina's design approach, blending timeless aesthetics with functionality, resonated with a broad audience. However, the show also faced criticism for its portrayal of the renovation process, often glossing over the time and effort involved. The later seasons, which documented Tarek and Christina's separation and co-parenting journey, sparked debates about the complexities of navigating personal and professional lives in the public eye. Even though Flip or Flop is no longer on air, its influence on the home renovation genre is undeniable. It paved the way for a wave of shows featuring charismatic hosts, dramatic transformations, and the ever-present flip-or-flop tension. Beyond entertainment, the show educated viewers about real estate, renovation possibilities, and design trends. It also sparked conversations about teamwork, communication, and navigating the challenges of running a family business. While the core focus was on house renovations, Flip or Flop also offered glimpses into Tarek and Christina's personal lives. Flip or Flop catapulted them to HGTV fame, but Christina's life wasn't all smooth sailing. With the couple making their union official in 2009, it wasn't long before they started a family. They had a daughter, Taylor, in 2010, and a son, Brayden, in 2015. Early seasons featured them as a newly married couple navigating the challenges of balancing work and their growing family. With the later seasons, things started getting a little darker for the couple. Viewers got to learn about Tarek's cancer diagnosis and their journey through his recovery. It was in 2013 that Tarek was diagnosed with both thyroid and testicular cancer. The illness cast a dark shadow on their time together as they battled to get Tarek back to being well again. Thankfully, Tarek recovered and the show continued. He has granted an interview where he talked about the struggle they had to face then. Yet the experience highlighted the strength of their partnership and their commitment to each other and their family. These segments added a layer of relatability 
and showcased their resilience as a team. Despite the controversies, Flip or Flop remained ratings win for HGTV. However, after 10 successful seasons, the show ended in 2022, which wasn't exactly an end anyone foresaw. Sadly, in 2016, Christina and Tarek announced their separation. This news came as a shock to fans who were invested in their on-screen chemistry. When Tarek and Christina divorced, they both decided to pursue solo ventures on the network, allowing them to explore their individual design styles and renovation philosophies. Christina on the Coast is one of the solo ventures that Christina started. It showcased Christina's expertise in helping clients transform their existing homes, while Tarek El Moussa's Flipping 101 took viewers on a deep dive into the technical aspects of renovations. Despite the split, they remained committed to co-parenting their children and continued filming Flip or Flop for a while till they decided to end it in 2022. This professional commitment, despite personal challenges, earned them respect from viewers. Their dedication to co-parenting has been an inspiration to many divorced couples navigating similar situations. They showed it's possible to maintain a professional partnership while prioritizing the well-being of their children. Given their long history together, the couple built a lot of things together, which had to be split with the divorce. The details of the divorce aren't known, but we believe it stemmed after a heated encounter that they had in their Southern California home. When everything was finalized, Tarek got to keep the real estate agency they founded, which is now solely run by him. Though the reason behind the divorce wasn't made public, Tarek mentioned in an interview that he was a wreck following his illness and that he understood why Christina might have wanted to leave the marriage then. From his countenance, though, you could tell that he took it really hard. When the divorce was still on track, news broke at some point that he might have even been suicidal. Police had to stop him midway on a hike and found him with a gun. Tarek confirmed that he wasn't suicidal but had the gun as a protection from wild animals. Luckily, Tarek was able to pull through both his illness and the divorce and has moved on with his life. The same can be said for Christina. Following her separation from Tarek, Christina found love again with English TV presenter Aunt Anstead, and they started dating around 2017 when the divorce process was still on. Fast forward to December 2018, the couple got married, and everyone wanted to see how things would work between them. In 2019, Christina welcomed her third child, Hudson, with Anstead. Christina's life continued to be a whirlwind of professional success and personal change. She documented her new blended family life on social media, giving fans a glimpse into her world beyond renovations. But it turned out that Christina was in for more changes in her personal life. In 2020, Christina and Aunt announced their separation, leaving fans surprised once again as to what might have been the issue between this couple. Despite the personal setbacks, Christina remained focused on her career. Capitalizing on her design expertise and the success of Flip or Flop, she landed her own HGTV spin-off show, Christina on the Coast, in 2019. This show offered a fresh perspective, showcasing Christina's design skills as she helped clients renovate their dream homes. Viewers got a closer look at her design philosophy, which blended functionality with timeless aesthetics. Christina on the Coast proved to be another hit for HGTV. It cemented Christina's status as a design guru, inspiring viewers with her creative vision and approachable design ideas. When Christina divorced Anstead, many thought that she might just have decided to face just her career while taking care of her children. But Christina remained as resilient in her love life as she has been with her career. She found love again in 2021 when she began dating real estate agent Joshua Hall. They married in a private ceremony in 2022 and have remained married ever since. Christina appears to have found happiness with Joshua. They often share glimpses of their life together on social media, showcasing their love for travel, spending time outdoors, and of course, home improvement projects. Being a reality TV star and a public figure comes with its share of challenges. Christina has faced public scrutiny throughout her career, 
particularly regarding her personal life. Her multiple marriages and separations have been fodder for tabloids and online gossip. While some viewers connect with her openness about her life, others have been critical. Christina has also been involved in online battles with her ex-husband, Aunt Anstead, regarding custody of their son, Hudson. Anstead initially filed for full custody, but after some back and forth, the judge settled that the couple should have joint custody. Anstead based his argument for full custody on the chances that Christina might exploit the child to grow her social media presence. The divorce was finalized in 2021, and they both went their separate ways. These public disputes highlight the complexities of blended families and co-parenting in the spotlight. Despite the challenges, Christina has shown remarkable resilience. She continues to navigate the complexities of fame and public scrutiny while prioritizing her family and career. Christina's design journey continues to evolve. In 2023, she embarked on a new HGTV adventure with her show Christina in the Country. This show takes viewers to Tennessee, where Christina has purchased a historic farmhouse. She's tackling the renovation herself, showcasing her design skills and hands-on approach. Christina in the Country offers a more personal side of Christina. It showcased her desire for a simpler life, closer to nature, while still showcasing her design expertise. This new chapter allows Christina to connect with viewers on a deeper level, inspiring them to embrace change and pursue their passions. Christina Hall's journey from flipping houses to becoming a design icon is truly inspiring. Her career highlights the power of hard work, perseverance, and a genuine passion for design. On her part as well, Christina has faced some personal health challenges over the years. She has been feeling sick at intervals, not knowing what was wrong with her. It was not until 2022, when she decided to get herself checked, that she realized that she had mercury and lead poisoning. This doesn't come as a surprise, given the nature of her job. Over many episodes of the shows she has been part of on television, she has been in houses that were in really bad states and have been exposed to other materials and chemicals used in construction. She also suspects that the breast implants that she had then might have contributed and made arrangements to have them removed. In addition to that, she was also diagnosed with small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, something she had no clue was there in the first place. She has since gotten treatment and is back to doing her thing on television. Considering how attached to her job, the thought of breaking down along the line must have terrified her. We wish her all the best and hope that she remains healthy. Through her shows, Christina has not only entertained viewers, but also educated them on the renovation process and the importance of good design. She's shown how to create beautiful and functional spaces that reflect personal style she also promoted the importance of family above all things. Her children from her first marriage can still be seen on some of the episodes of her shows. Hopefully, they will learn from her and carry on with her legacy. Being a multi-talented individual, Christina has also authored books like The Wellness Remodel, a guide to rebooting how you eat, move, and feed your soul, which was published in 2020. The book is a guide to wellness and must have been inspired by the series of challenges related to health, which she has faced over the years. Outside her personal health battle, she had to also live through Tarek's fight with cancer. Throughout the 10 seasons of Flip or Flop, design trends shifted, and Christina's approach reflected these changes. Early seasons showcased a focus on open floor plans, neutral color palettes, and granite countertops, which were popular choices at the time. As the show progressed, Christina incorporated elements like shiplap walls, farmhouse sinks, and statement lighting, reflecting a move towards a more rustic and personalized aesthetic. The show served as a time capsule of design trends, offering viewers valuable insights into the ever-changing world of home decor. Christina's journey has been an inspiration to everyone, and she has acquired quite a fortune from everything. Her net worth is said to be over $20 million, placing her as one of the best paid show hosts on HGTV. In the coming years, we are excited to see what new venture she might be going into, and we wish her all the best. 
So now you know what Christina Hall has been up to over the years. Do subscribe to the channel and check out the new videos we will upload in the future. We will see you all in the next